Live from the David 3000 Network Studios, it's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's your host of Star Tic Tac Doe, Jason DeCanio. All right, welcome everybody to Tic Tac Doe. It's episode two. And we're hoping you're having a fantastic time with us here as last week on the program, our champion continued his winning ways, defeating the overall champion. The interim champion beat the overall champion. So now we have our overall champion. He's got exactly two wins under his belt. And Charlie's going to now introduce him and his opponent. Not Charlie, Brandon Scruggs, actually. Brandon, do the introductions, please. I appreciate the honor and the recognition to put my name next to charlie o'donnell but he's such right. a great but nonetheless let's meet our contestants first our returning champion comes to us from oshkosh wisconsin he's a college student whose cash and prizes total thirty three thousand four hundred seventy nine dollars meet scott michael and and his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he's a merchandiser for a local supermarket. Meet Mark Leota. Wow, we've got two good contestants here ready to go, and we'll start off with Mark, our challenger, and Mark Leota, who's familiar with the game show world, and also one of my best uh Tear Masters on the Wipe Those Tears. Welcome to the program. Welcome to Tic Tac Toe tonight for a change. Thank you, Jason. Good to be here. Yeah, so uh, how's things up in Canada these days? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, very yeah. cold up here today, so probably because yeah. I had my yellow jacket on when I went to get groceries today. I believe so, yeah, because you should see it down in the north, in the states here, in the Midwest, and in the mid middle part of the United States. It's all blizzard-like conditions in the in the teens and twenties, and ugh. and here we are in Florida. It's going to be down to thirty-eight tomorrow night. <laughs> thirty-eight, oh my goodness! But so you you know about cold weather, but. Uh, Maybe you'll be a hot champion if you can defeat our champion right now, who's back with us for his uh, third time tonight. This is Scott Michaels. What's up, buddy? Hey, Jason. Who wins under your gun? Thirty-three thousand four hundred seventy-nine dollars. You are just rolling in the money there, my friend. Yeah, I definitely am. Um, dang, I thought this was my fourth. Is it his fourth already? Uh, Brandon? <laughs> Jin, I want to say it might be third. I thought it was his third, yeah, mm -hmm. because he, he, he was crowned the interim champion, I think, right on the last show of the, the last show of the season. Mm -hmm. And then he came back to then he came back for this is because this is season two of the of Tic Tac Doe. And I think you came back to the and you guys played the, against you and Scott Egg, uh, Egbert and mm -hmm. you defeated him. And so that was your second win. Now you're going for your third, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out the numbers. Something oh, three or total, four. <laughs> yeah, you, but you hit the dragon on the on the end of the last season, and then you came back and won last week. So that was good. You won a lot. Yeah, of, a lot I'm, of, I'm glad well. I finally defeated that dragon. Oh yeah. But he, you know, so you're one and one, basically. You won one, you lost one. So let's see if you can go two and one tonight. But first, you got to get through Mark Leota. Gentlemen, wish you the best of luck. Let's play tic tac toe. <laughs> All right. Okay, in this game, the nine categories you're going to be playing with are mixed drinks, the bonus category, on the map, entertainment. History, $2,500 question, art and literature, top 10, and science and nature. And, of course, those categories in red are special categories. I'll explain uh, how we play them when if you pick it, okay? Center box is worth $750. The remaining boxes are worth $500. No, no. center box is no. worth 1000 You wanted to do $750. <laughs> I keep wanting to do that, but unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> So in this case, uh, yeah, 
Uh, but uh, the center box is worth a thousand dollars. The remaining box is a way to get tic tac toe. Wins the game, goes on a chance for great cash and prizes against the dragon. All right. And as always, uh, the champ starts first. So, Scott, uh, what would you like? Mm, Here we go. There is a lot of good categories on here but i think i gotta start with one of my favorite things mixed drinks you're gonna go with mixed drinks okay we've got uh mixed drinks for you here and here's the question there is a specific rum and coke and there's also coconut flavored now for the box tell me what is the the famous coconut rum that they use in those rums and cokes um, I know it. I can see it. Um, oh my God, it's the white bottle. Um, quickly, the time's going to be yeah. so, so uh, close. I Tell me, what, I can see. You know what it was? It's a it's Malibu. Damn it! Malibu. Yep. <laughs> Just, you had it on the tip of your tongue, but the time ran out on you. Sorry about that, Scott. Can't give you the box, unfortunately, so we shuffle. Okay, Mark, you're up first with your uh, first pick. What? Let's do top ten. Top ten. Okay, so here's how this is going to work here. I will give you uh, ten things... And on this top 10, the uh, top 10 uh, are going to be parts of a newspaper. Now, but there are 10 of them. And uh, you have to, you guys go one by one and give me each one of those. Oh, right. They see, so they go back and forth on this one, right? No, they each will give you one answer. Whoever has right. the higher and answer on the list will get the box. Oh, okay. That's okay. Thank you for the clarification. So. Parts of a newspaper is what we're looking for. And Mark, since you picked the box, you can get, you give me uh, one of them. And if it's the number one, you'll get the box. If not, uh, and uh, Scott will try to see if he can go higher than that. All right. So top ten parts of a newspaper. Okay. Uh, well, you definitely have your uh, front page headlines. And wouldn't you know it, front page is number one. You got the box. Nicely done, Mark. That is the number one. Yes. Nicely done. We put it all on the board and $500. And let me give you the rest of these so you will know. Um, you had the classifieds, number two. Number three was the sports. Number four was horoscopes. Number five was movies. Six was the business section. Seven was Metro, comics on the eight, nine was editorials, and number 10 was advice columns. Wow, nice going there, Mark. You're a strike first with that one, and you got the, uh, the O, and we, uh, did we shuffle already? Not yet. Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle, and it's back to, uh, it's back to Scott. Um, hmm. I'll go science and nature. Okay, oh. science and nature. This question. What pachyderm comes in three living species, Asian, African, savanna, and African forest? The only pachyderm. I'm going to guess a camel. Oh, no. The ah. elephant. The pachyderm we were looking for. Oh, oh. Elephants never forget. Yeah, well, sorry about that one there. Box remains on claim. Still $500 in the pot. We'll shuffle again. Back to you, Mark. Okay. Um, top 10 again. Why not? All right. Top 10. Why not, right? Okay. This time we want to, we, you are now looking for the number one answer. Or killers from horror movies. Oh. Are... Okay. And uh, we'll start again with you, uh, Mr. Leota, for your first guess. Jason. 
Um, well, Jameson is number four. Unfortunately, I'm fourth on the list. So, Scott, in order to get the box, you must get one, two, or three in order to claim the box. Oh, boy. Um, I have two of them in mind, but I have a feeling a more popular one will be Michael Myers. Unfortunately, Michael Myers is number six. So, again, the box goes to Mark, and he gets another O on the board. Wow. Nicely done, Mark. You got it. I think I might have an idea for what number one might be. Freddy Krueger. No, Freddy Krueger was actually number seven. Uh, Number one on the list was Chucky. Then you had Norman Bates. Uh, Then you had Fishhead. Uh, Leatherface. Hannibal Lecter, Cujo, and then Frankenstein was number 10. Okay. Uh, Mark, you got the box because you picked higher on it, and you got it. Nicely done. There, $1,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Okay, Scott. Um, well, I got to go to the block, but I don't like the category. Art and lit. Okay, Art Lick, you're right. You get a block on this, and there'll be $1,500 in the pot. How many lords are leaping in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas? Is that 12? No, that is Seven. wrong. You're looking for ten. Ten lords are leaping. Ten, ten lords are leaping. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately, the box remains unclaimed, and a big break from Mark Leoto. Let's shuffle. <laughs> okay, Mark. <laughs> well, uh, not one of my strongest subjects, but uh, I have to go for it to try to win history. All right, get the box right. You'll win the game at $1,500, and you will be the new champion. Okay, what did the residents of the U.S. president become formally known as in 1901? Repeat. What did the residents of the U.S. president become formally known as in 1901? Residents of the U.S. presidents? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Oh. I have no idea. Uh, can, can I take the White House. Yeah. Oh, White White. House. Yes. oh, shoot. Oh, I should have known that. I don't think we, I don't know, I, I don't know if we were going to accept 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't think we would have been able to accept that, Judge, right? No, we wouldn't. We, okay. All right. Big break for you, Scott. You're still in the game. Let's shuffle the categories. I should have known that. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, Scott. Mixed drinks for the block. Okay, get this box right, and you will have a block. All right, and in the mixed drinks category. All right. Well. Now, you know, of course, in a martini, it could be vodka or gin. So, speaking of gins, we want to know what kind of, uh, what kind of vermouth would you use in a martini? What kind of vermouth? Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know, so I'll go dry, dry vermouth. Yes, dry vermouth or sweet. You got the block. Nicely oh, done. Wow. Yes, that's where I was going with that. With you. <laughs> the next on the board for the champ, and he blocks it. Now it goes to fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, nicely done. Good, good job, this guy. You were kind of doubtful of like where was I going with the question, right? I did like I didn't know any kinds of vermouth, so I was like the only one I know is dry. So let's try. Why or like, sweet would have been acceptable, Judge? We can't put an X in the box. Eventually, 
buzzer beater. What do you call that, right? There we go. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle the categories. Okay, Mark. Now where are we going? Uh, maybe for somewhere a little more of my expertise on the map. On the map. All right. Now uh, this one is. Uh, let's see. Uh, but 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 think I okay. I gotta pull up some questions. There. Hold on one sec here. Uh, on the okay. Let me see what I got for the on the map here. Nature. I thought this was a picture question, but I guess not. No. No. Oh, we're gonna put that on. The, okay. Okay. So on the map, and this is what uh, geography, uh, states and countries. Yes. Okay. All right. So we got Mark right now. We're in, right? Yeah, you're in. Pensacola and Sarasota are cities in which state, Mark? Um, uh, New York. No, that's incorrect. Ah. Sorry about that. We're looking for Florida. Florida Your State. Ah. Pensacola and Sarasota. Yeah, box remains on. I can't give you the box there, so we'll shuffle again. Okay, Scott. Let's go to entertainment. Right. Entertainment. All right. Slice it up on entertainment for you here. What city is the setting for Gladiator? Um. Oh God, is it that or that? Uh, huh. Sparta. <laughs> no, ah! looking for Rome. Sorry, Damn Rome it. is what we're looking for. Sorry, can't give you the box there. We still got two O's and an X, and we'll shuffle again. <laughs> All right. We've got uh, Mark who's up next. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try on the map again. Okay, on the map again, which wasn't your uh, best one there, but let's see if you can uh, get this one here. You ready? All right, let's do it. Which country has the highest population? Okay, so that's the uh, country that has the most people living in it, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there's two that come to mind. Um, Japan? Oh, no. Ah. Looking for China. China, the other one. Ah. Uh, uh. Happy mute yourself, please. Okay, give me a second. Hey, thank you. Yeah, how you doing, bud? Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle the categories. Okay, back to you, Scott. Uh, you know, hasn't been working for him. I'll try it myself on the map. I'm gonna go with on the map yourself. Okay, here's your question. Oh, uh, let's see. Which country annexed Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula in 2014? Uh, Russia? That is right. You got the box. Right. I don't know. I was more in the pot for two thousand dollars And it's uh, shuffle time again. And, oh, no, it's not shuffle time. We're going to take a break and be right back with more Tic Tac Toe right after that. the flavor of tropical fruit. Ooh, la, la, la. Banana. La, la. Pina colada. Fruit patch. Mango melon. Tangerine, 
Some of our party contestants on TikTok though will receive Soda's Chocolate Cherries. For your chocolate shell, luscious real fruit cherry, and 100% liquid center, see us chocolate covered cherries. Poppycock fluffy popcorn mixed with almonds, cashews, and pecans smothered in a delightfully purple craze. Poppycock is a delicious gourmet popcorn treat. And one lucky member of our studio on it will receive Daisy's Turbo Spa. Help turn your bath into a luxurious, thirst relieving retreat with power full feature Turbo Spa furnished by Daisy. Okay, Jason. Thank you, Brandon. Welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. We've got a fantastic game going here. Two X's and two O's and $2,000 in the pot. And it is shuffle time. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, Mark, you're up. <laughs> oh, fuck me with a Swiss Army knife. Mix drinks the block. No, thank you. Okay, you get this box, you'll have the block. All right. In this drink, this drink mix drink contains two ounces of vodka, four to six ounces of ginger beer, and 0.5 ounces of lime juice. Name the drink, Mark. Uh, a Shirley Temple. Oh, no. I didn't know it. Not even close. It was a Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. Shirley oh. Temple has no alcohol in it at all, in fact. <laughs> Unless you want to make this the, the kicked up version of the Shirley Temple, then the Moscow Mule will kick the butt anytime you want it. <laughs> Good guess, though, but not right. Sorry about that. Box remains unclaimed. Let this shuffle been a big break. God, I didn't even hear about this. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Scott, right up your alley. I know. I want that last question because Moscow Mule is my favorite mixed drink of all time. But I will go with mixed drinks for the win. All right, you get this box right. You will retain the championship, your third win, $2,500, and go on to play the dragon. In this drink, the ingredients are two ounces of gin, two dashes of simple syrup, 0.5 ounces of lemon juice topped with champagne. For the win and another $2,500, Scott, name the drink. Can I have the ingredients one more time? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Okay, it's two ounces of gin. Two dashes of simple syrup, point uh, a half an ounce of lemon juice, and champagne. For the win, name the drink. Oh God, um, it's not right, but I'll guess mimosa. No, that's unfortunately ah. wrong. I'm sorry. You probably wouldn't have never heard of this. It's called a French seventy-five. French 75. Figure that stuff you in the heart. Of <laughs> <laughs> well, the box remains unclaimed. Let's shuffle once again. Okay, Mark. Uh, but I'm not going to try again. Um, let's go science and nature. Science and nature. Oh, all right. Not going to pick history to block. Okay. Just. So you know. All right, here's your question in Science and Nature. Which computer company launched its Power Book series in 1991? Uh, repeat. Okay, which computer company launched its Power Book series in 1991? Okay, um... IBM? No, we were looking for Apple. Apple is oh. what we were looking for. Sorry about that. The box is unclaimed again, but now we shuffle and see what happens here. Okay, Scott. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I know. Um, I'll go history. You're going to go history instead of the top 10. All right. He's going in the upper right there for this question. What woman's name was the last word spoken by Napoleon? Oh, God. Um. Jesus. Uh, Cleopatra. I don't know. No, Josephine. Ah. Who, Josephine. Sorry about that. Box is unclaimed again. 
Still $2,000 in the pile of the shuffle. Okay, Mark. Which one do you want? Top 10. Top 10 in the upper right. Okay, guys, here we go again. All right, you are. We've got 10 characters from the original Star Wars movies. You give me the most popular answer or the highest one, you will get the box. We get the box, okay? Since really nobody's going for this one, it could go either way. We'll start off, of course, with Mark since he picked the category. Uh, Characters from the original Star Wars movies. Mark, name me one. Luke Skywalker. Wouldn't you know that's the number one answer, and you got the box. Nicely done. Oh, my God. He's pretty offended. We put it all on the upper right there, and 2,500. Let me run off the list. Uh, Princess Leia was number two. Han Solo, then Chewbacca, R2-D2, Darth Vader, C-3PO, Lando... Calrissian. Uh, yeah, uh, Jabba the Hutt, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi. You go, oh, nicely done there. Uh, Mark, you're just a kick, or kick butt on those top tens there. Oh. All right. Another roll up on the board. The force was with me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. When we shuffled. Oh, oh boy. Right, look at this one. <laughs> you know, I will try to double the pot and take it all. The $2,500 question. All right. You get this right. And it's $5,000 added to your prior winnings for a grand total of $38,479. Okay. Here we go. Now, Fern scores 78 out of 200 in her French test. What is her mark as a percentage? He said 78 out of 200? Yep. She scores a 78 out of 200. What is her mark as a percentage? Thirty-five. Thirty-nine percent. Who wins? Congratulations. He did it again. Nicely done. <laughs> he did it. Three wins in a row for Scott Michaels and another five thousand dollars added to his prior winnings for a total of thirty-eight thousand four hundred and seventy-nine dollars. And he's going on to the bonus round in just a few minutes here. Well, Mark. I hope you had fun because I'll tell you, it's going to take $300 for those O's and uh, some nice parting gifts as well, and including a three-month subscription to Sirius XM Satellite Radio. That's the one of our featured prizes here, Consolation. Why not, right? But uh, yeah. not to worry because you, of course, have, a, have something else to go to. You go to the Joker's Wild, and we'll see you then. So no worries on this game here, even if. But <laughs> that would have been great if you were the champ for two games, right? Two different games. <laughs> but either way, hey, I hope you had fun, and we'll see you on Joker's Wild in a little bit. But when we come back, Zach, uh, not Zach, Zach is here, Zach the artist. He will be That's playing. We're going straight on through, Jason. We're going straight on through? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Scott, come on over. Let's play Dragon. Come on. Let's, let's see if we can get in there. Yeah. Woo! I'll, I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> it's all right. We're working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. All right, Scott. Three wins under your gun, $38,479. And you know behind the numbers, of course, the tick attack. Dragon is behind there. And, of course, you get to $1,000 without seeing the little guy. And uh, this is what you're going to win. Brandon. Uh, For this prize package here, uh, Scott, we're going to be dealing with things that spin. Like, for starters, uh, how about the wheels on the bottom of your designer luggage? From Ricardo Beverly Hills, this luggage set comes with two suitcases, one carry-on, a four-piece train case set, and three packing cubes. Next, another thing that spins are the wheels on your pair of motor scooters. That's right, from Vespa, the Primavera 50 and Primavera 50 Touring with 50cc engine comes with helmets and accessories. And one more thing that we l- likes to spin a lot, 
is the wheels on the plane on your trip to Belize. That's right, you want to guess a fly round trip coach from Los Angeles to Belize City, Belize, and then on to Cayo for a six night stay at the lodge at Shaw Creek. One lunch at cave tubing and zip lighting adventure included with this prize, making this total prize package worth $18,302. All right. How about that, Scott? You think you would like to have all of that goodies? A trip to Belize, some nice luggage, and oh, over eighteen thousand dollars can be yours in this game. So, uh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's cover up the numbers and the little guy and see if you can defeat him for a second time. Pick your first number, Scott. One. All right, let's see. Is he not behind number one? Let's see what we got there. Starting with... Whoa! <laughs> okay. That is a great start. Time to pick. You, uh, I don't think we're giving away any big money for the for the picks, right, uh, Judge? No, if you do find Tick and Tack on the first two picks, we will add an additional $10,000 to your winnings. There you go. Not bad indeed. So if you find Tick this way, you you got it. That's what just what Brandon said. So go ahead and pick your next number. Boy, I wish this was like last season with 100k on the line. But right, I'll yeah. Take, I'll still take 10k. <laughs> six. All right. Let's see if Tick is behind number six. Show it. Oh, you. <laughs> God. You, oh no! You fluffy bitch! Fluffy! Wow, that is a heartbreaker. There, he got you That's again, good, and he's got the advantage to you. One out of one and two, one for two. Oh, unfortunately, that's a tough break. But hey, you're still the champ with thirty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-nine dollars. None to sneeze about. You're going for your fourth win next week. Uh, let's see where ticking the rest of the money was because it was all up there. Oh, right above it, number three was Tick, and of course, there was all the money it there. From a, it was the Jason Myers special 316. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Oh, tough break, though. But hey, you're coming, like I said, you're coming back next week to definitely uh, defend the throne. And uh, we'll have, of course, a new contestant for you. And if you would like to be on Tic Tac Toe, here's Brandon to tell you how to do it. Brandon. If you'd like to be a contestant here on the David 3000 Network, there's two ways you can do it. First, you can drop us a line in the comment section down below saying you'd like to be a contestant, and we'll reach out to you and get you further information. Or, you can message Jason DeCanio or David St. Dennis directly on Facebook, and they'll get you the information you need so you can be the next big winner right here on the David 3000 Network. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Brandon. Well, that's all the time we got for today. Uh, Scott, we'll see you next week to see who you'll face off again. You'll just have to tune in and see if he can win it again. For all of us here at the David 3000 Network and Tic Tac Toe, and for Brandon Scruggs, and for me, I'm Jason DeCanier. We'll see you next week on Tic Tac Toe. Bye for now.
This is Miranda Scruggs speaking for Tic Tac Doe, a David 3000 Network presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gary Thousand Network for more great content like this one.